murderer has been apprehended. They have caught him. Not him. Her. Justine. This was hidden among her possessions. Dear God. Justine had no reason to steal it. If she had wanted the cameo, I would gladly have given it to her. And how else could she have obtained it if not from the boy? Any number of ways. The evidence is against her. Justine is no murderer. She's just a servant girl. Why are you defending her so vehement? She is not just a servant girl. She is part of our family. If you are not black, you are not family. Anyway. The girl confessed. Pompous, arrogant, the bureaucrat. All he craves is an expeditious conviction. You know I loved Justine, but she confessed to murder. She is not. I know it for a fact. How do you know? Because I know Justine. Despise me. But I never harmed anyone. You must believe me. Father Bofu. Did he coerce you into confessing? I was so confused. Only God knows I'm innocent. I know it too. I do not care what the court has decreed. Certainly new evidence must be considered. Which is what? That some monstrous creature murdered your brother and is taking refuge in the woods? Yes. Send out a search party now before the demon perpetrates any more crimes. It's quite a fantastic story. He is real. Herr Frankenstein. Justice is done.
shine upon you for your crimes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to Could you, sir? I did everything I could. Everything in my power to save Justine. But I had no evidence. They preferred to execute an innocent servant girl rather than believe there was a monster in their midst. Poor child. Take care of him, Henry. It is selfish of you to go. This family has been through enough pain. And if I do not go, there will be more pain than anyone can bear. Hector! Do not go! <sighs> the world is a miserable place, Henry. Much more than I ever thought.
I know you are there. Show yourself! Is this how you wish to die? And you'll spend your last few hours before God? You, you can speak. You really think we're so different? I am flesh and blood, endowed with perceptions, passion. A murderous soul. Who is to blame for that? For filling my heart with such anger. I curse the day you first saw light. I curse these hands that gave you life. You accuse me of murder, yet you would destroy your own creation. You are an abomination. The world has rejected me. I hoped my father would not. But <laughs> not your father. You made me what I am. You stitched me together from death and decay. A mistake, a dreadful mistake. Which I must pay for. Understand the loneliness I have endured. And so you sought your vengeance on William. I never intended to harm him. Not like that. It was you I went home to find. The first one I saw was the little one. William Frankenstein, come out here now! So I followed him and waited until he was alone. Wait, I must speak with you. Elizabeth! Please. No! Let me go, Mark. 
monster. Please. His eyes. You have his eyes. Please don't hurt me. Please. I don't want to hurt you. Elizabeth. Somebody. You must be quiet. Somebody. I need to see you. <laughs> I must speak to him. It's Frank. It's you are his family. I know you know where he is. <laughs> he is super. No. Please, wake up. Wake up. He was gone. My brother was just a child. An innocent. What did you do to Justine? She spent most of the day and night calling out for women. I felt an unexplainable compulsion to follow her. I, I know I should have fled from what I had done to the sweet boy, but I, I yearned, yearned to be near her. I waited out in the cold night until I could no longer wait. I so needed, so needed to gaze upon her beauty. What I would have given to receive the tenderest look of affection from her. Yet I knew what, what might happen if she opened her eyes and saw me. It was then the madness came over me. I wanted to make you suffer. So I condemned her for the murder that I committed. Do you understand the kind of creature you created? A blot upon this earth. Do you understand the agony of how it is to be reviled for how you look? What do you want from me? If you do not open your family to me, then you must make me one of my own. You, you want a family, a female. You must make a mate for me. Never. You dare deny me! I do not care what misery or torture you inflict on me. I shall never create another malicious being like yourself. If I cannot inspire love, I will inspire fear. I will desolate your heart until you curse the hour you were born. You are a monster that you created, sir. You cannot escape this. God, what have I done? You did it once. Now do it again. You cannot leave me alone in such a cruel world. You are saying that if I can say that you will never see us ever. You swear to be harmless for the love of another. It would destroy the cause of all my crimes. comply with one condition. That you leave Europe and all other civilized places forever. Forever. It will take time. Secrecy. I can be paid. How will I find you? Don't worry. I will be watching.
left him out there alive. I know that sounds mad. When every fiber of my being wished to destroy him. Yet when I thought about the virtues he displayed on the dawn of his existence, kindness, caring, trust, virtues which were all but extinguished by the loathing and scorn of mankind. I found myself unable to deny him. Like any father. Such a lovely day. You should be out there with him. He just wants to be by himself. Give him time. He'll come back to us. Well, here's Henry. Perhaps he can cheer him up. Henry! Alphonse. How are you? Very well indeed. How is your father? So, Henry, when are you returning to Ingolstadt? Actually, I'm not. I'm traveling to Constantinople. Constantinople? Yes. I leave next week. There's only so much one can glean about the Crusades from history books. How exciting. Is it not, Victor? So I take it your father is adjusted to having a scholar in the family? Begrudgingly. He insists I scour the markets for exotic trinkets that he may import. <laughs> Excuse me. I... Did I request thee, master? From my clay to mold me, man, did I solicit thee from darkness to promote me? Feeling. Let's go inside. I have to go away again. What? Where? To Ingolstadt. To university. Victor, what is the matter? You must tell me. Elizabeth, do you love me? How can you ask me that? Then trust me. I have some matters left undone. When it is over, we can be together.
down. It's true you have returned. Please. If I come in? What do you want, Professor? Why have you come here? Prevent you from making another horrible mistake. You already forgotten what we did, how we defied the, the laws of God. I've not forgotten anything, but we cannot change the past. Maybe not, but the present is within our grasp. Bringing life to the dead is wrong. Go back and do what you do best, Professor. Go back and teach. I should have stopped you the first time. Frankenstein! in Constantinople. Change of plans. Elizabeth Senya. Please do not be angry. She is worried about you. We all are. You can report back that I am fine. That you cancelled your trip for nothing. Victor, I am your closest friend. That does not give you the license to interfere. Walk away, Victor. But I simply refuse to leave until you tell me what is going on. Please do not touch anything. My God, Victor, what are you doing? Understand why I must finish this one last thing. 
But unleashing another abomination upon the world is madness. I gave my word. A wicked promise to a murderer, a monster whom I created. You did not kill William and Justine. You are not responsible. I am as responsible as if it were my hands wrapped around their necks. Why did you not destroy that thing when you had the chance? All he wants is to love and be loved like any human. But he is not human. And you are not God, Victor. And what about her? Who knows what she will want, what she will demand? Or, God forbid, bear children. I need you to leave now, Henry. Victor, listen to me. You have made one mistake. Do not compound it by inflicting another curse upon mankind. Or who knows where it will end. If it will end, go. Go! She is so beautiful. She is perfect. There is so much I want to tell you, share with you, teach you about life, love. I've made us a home, our own secret place where we can live without fear. with our children, together. How much longer? I cannot be sure. There have been complications. No, I want her now. Give her life, like you gave me. It is in your journal. It is gone. What is? My journal. I burned it. No. No. Get it out, please. Please, Father. Why? Why? No. No. Oh, my God, no, please. No. No. I cannot be alone! Why? Why? You dare break your promise. Remember, sir. I will be at your wedding night. I gave you a chance to give me happiness. Now! I will take yours. Here. 
should take it out to the middle where it is deepest. You are a true friend, Henry. Better than I deserve. When I think of all the misery I've brought upon you. Victor, Elizabeth is waiting for you. Go back to her and live your life. doing? Leave, Henry. This is my deed. Only I can finish this. Well, let me help you. You already have. I will see you when I return. I will be waiting, Victor. With the finest bottle of champagne money can buy. Something wrong. There's been a murder. A stranger fitting your description was seen dumping a body. A murder? Oh, no, I can explain everything. You see, I'm a, a student at the University of Ingolstadt, and I was conducting a scientific experiment. An experiment? Yes. Since childhood, we were like brothers. My dear, dear friend. What happened? Oh, no. No. This should have been me! You should not have come. It's better I leave you here to rot. It is what I deserve. You did not kill Henry. And thanks to Elizabeth, the authorities now know it too. Elizabeth is here? Yes. She spoke to those so-called eyewitnesses. Why did you bring her? Why did you let her come? As if I could keep her away, as if anyone could. You must understand, it is not safe here. Papers are all signed, and you're free to go. Victor, darling. Come along, we're going okay. now. My 
loving father once warned against the hypocrisy of a man who ceases to recognize the abyss of his deceptions. Why did I not tell Elizabeth and my father the truth? To my shame, it is something I am unable to explain. Though it is inescapable, my greatest sin was the one told in silence. Victor! I think I will go for a walk. I could join you if you like. No. I just need some time. I will be waiting, Victor, with the finest bottle of champagne money can buy. Do something for me. Take me for a ride, now. Away from this place. Certainly. Victor, may we be frank? About what? About us, our future. I know our union ha has been the dream of your parents, this family, but do not feel honor-bound to uphold it. Honor-bound? What do you mean? I am not a little child who needs protecting. I can face the truth if you love another. What? There is no one else. There never has been. Yet something prevents you from giving yourself to me completely. Yes. There is a secret dreadful one which I have kept from you. I know everything I need to know about you. Except this. They all died by my hands. William. Justine. Henry. It is madness, Victor. I wish it were. Even God can bear witness to my truth. No, you are not to blame. Refuse to hear any more, not another word. You must listen to me if we are to be married. There's one thing I'm certain of in this world. It is that the man I love is incapable of harming a living soul. Megan, 
confess that which I have kept from you before you decide. After our wedding. You can tell me after we are married. I love you. And you love me. There are no excuses not to marry. I shall never leave your side. Never again. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today before God to witness the union of Victor and Elizabeth. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. With my body, I thee worship. With my body, I thee worship. And with all my worldly goods, I thee endow. And with all my worldly goods, I thee endow. Those who God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You are the most beautiful bride I have ever seen. And you are the most mysterious groom. All part of my charm. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. We do not have to leave tonight. No, I want to. Everything's been arranged. The house is going to be so quiet without you two. After these few hectic weeks, it might not be such a bad thing. <laughs> have a wonderful adventure. Thank you, Father, for everything. We should leave. Take care of Victor. <laughs> Which carriage are you taking? Both. If anyone should ask, you have no idea where we have gone.
true. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon madam. Good afternoon. <laughs> I will have your luggage sent up. Thank you very much. You're welcome. to look. Will you be wanting dinner, sir? We'll let you know. <laughs> you are smiling. Because I am happy. <laughs> you are mad. <laughs> Absolutely mad. <laughs> what would happen if we just disappeared? Sailed away to some tropical island. <laughs> With only monkeys to entertain us. Well, yes, and our fine, <laughs> spoiled little brats. <laughs> you know you can tell me anything. Whenever you are ready. I have done some things, Elizabeth, things I am not proud of. In the pursuit of knowledge and science. But I went too far. Further than any man should go in nature. Determining the secret of life became my obsession, so I dug up the dead, searching for answers. I created... I created a body without life. I, I discovered a connection between electrical energy and our life force so I waited for a big storm so I could harness the current infuse the body with intent on destroying our happiness. It is him. One you have been afraid of. Stay here. Wait until I return.
Get out! Get out! Elizabeth endured so much, yet despite all her hardship, she was full of love, the most vibrant one, so like your mother. The day she brought Elizabeth home, was one of the happiest of my life. Death pursues you like the devil. Ever since you were a child, you were drawn to it in a way that was unnatural. Father, please, let us not quarrel. We only have each other. Whose fault is that, sir? No need for you here anymore, Victor. Listen. There's no one left to die. Oh, I love you. But I don't know who you are.
ました。Scientists promised impossibilities and performed nothing. The modern masters promise little, yet perform miracles. You're alive. I've heard so many rumors. I dare say you have. Good to see you again. Back to your old life. I'm so sorry for your misfortune. I feel responsible. Responsible? For encouraging you to dream. It's a sobering experience facing one's limitations. Spent my entire career urging students to break the rules, only to realize I am as conventional as all the rest. I am in awe of you, Victor. Of all you have accomplished. See him. You know who he is. He is a monster. A hellhound. Poor child. She's with God. 
He thrives on the innocent. He's the one. He left something behind for you. For me. He knew you'd be coming. My reign is not yet over. You put away your guns. I doubt you will be returning. Dogs. Is that how you're traveling? Yes. Not very practical, I'm afraid. Depends what you're hunting for. The devil.
understand why I am here. And why I will not rest. If he is out there, among the living. He won't survive long out there. Not in these conditions. I used to believe myself destined for some great enterprise. All I have brought is destruction. Swear to me. Swear that you will never let him escape. That you will put an end to his reign of terror. I will do what I can to help you find him. No. He must promise me he will be destroyed. And then my time on Earth will be complete. Sign. Nothing. Keep your eyes peeled. Do you 
think I ran away, Father? That I abandoned you the way you abandoned me? I never wanted much. Did I request thee, Maker, for my clay to mold me mad? Did I solicit thee from darkness to promote me? Astonishing. He is cold. He is dead. Who did this to him? You did. You were dead. No. Even my own father has abandoned me. Oh, oh, he has abandoned the pain you have caused him. But what would the likes of you know of agony and remorse? Do you believe, sir? Do you believe I am numb to agony and remorse? Do you believe that the sound of Elizabeth's cries were music to my ears? Do you dream there, Captain? Yes, of course. I dream once. To love. To be loved. But you are a slave to vengeance. Is there a man that does not battle temptation every day? Christ did not resort to vengeance when mankind sinned against him. His father loved him, sir. My father despised me, as you may despise me, Captain. But never, never as much as I despise myself. Captain. No. These ads have murdered the innocent. They have caused such suffering. Nothing left. Oh, welcome home. Oh, welcome home. Thank you.